I'm recording this video at 8 p.m. on Monday night, which means it's about 27, 28 hours after my initial post bite review went up for Golovkin versus Canelo. Now, in that video, I speculated that it was a very close fight that could have gone either way. Uh, I said on my scorecard, that it, my initial scorecard, it was a draw, and I thought Canelo deserved a lot of credit for what I considered to be a career best performance from him. Um, now, that video has received a very mixed response. Um, to my surprise, I actually got a, a large number of quite kind comments saying they supported what I was saying. Uh, but I also received a large number of very aggressive, very angry, very mean comments making all sorts of accusations against me. Which, to be honest, didn't come as a huge surprise. I, I knew that my opinion on the fight didn't necessarily correspond with the mainstream. And I knew um, that it was a controversial fight that had led to um, uh, passions being raised. Uh, I you know, can take these things on the chin. I'm not someone who um, gets overly upset when someone uses a uh, a bit of rude language in my comment section. You know, I don't beat myself up over it too much. I've had a few accusations that I'm biased in favour of Canelo Alvarez, which I find quite funny, really. I wouldn't say I've been a Canelo super fan over the years. Uh, you know, I'm not... Mexican, I'm not related to Canelo, I have no involvement with Canelo, he's not a fighter I put particular emphasis on on this channel, you know, uh, just because our opinions disagree it doesn't necessarily indicate a bias, um, but anyway, you know, it's their own, everyone's got a right to have their opinion, and if, if you your opinion is that I'm biased, uh, pro Canelo, or against Golovkin, then, then I reject that opinion, but you're entitled to have it, um, but as promised in that initial video, I uh, was going to rewatch the fight. Um, I've actually rewatched it two further times, so I've now watched the fight three times as I'm sitting here in front of you. And I was going to rescore the fight and come back and post a follow up video. Now, rewatching the fight has actually changed my opinion uh, marginally. Marginally, but potentially significantly. So, upon watching the fight three times, my consensus is that the right scorecard for this fight is 115 to 113 in favour of Golovkin. Um, in other words, um, I have changed my opinion very, very marginally. I've scored a single round differently, um, and I now have it seven rounds to five uh, in Golovkin's favour, rather than six rounds to six. Um, so it's a marginal difference, you know, over the course of 12 rounds I've chosen to score one differently, but of course it's a significant distance difference because um, that changes the fight on my card from a draw to a win for Golovkin. And my card 115-113 uh, is the same card as one of the judges, I believe, who had Golovkin by two points. Uh, my initial card 114-114 was also a score that one of the judges had, but anyway, uh, I digress. So. Right now, I see it as a seven rounds to five fight. Um, I think watching it back, um, I maybe gave a little bit too much credit to Canelo for some of the exaggerated upper body movement followed by counter punching. So I think I've seen spells of the fight where Canelo's up against the ropes. Triple G swung in, Miss Wally, Canelo's flashy, you know, led back and then came over the top and caught him with a counterpunch. And I think watching it the first time round, um, I've been really, really impressed by that work. And whilst I still maintain that's very impressive from Canelo Alvarez, uh, perhaps that alone doesn't negate some of the work Triple G was getting off. And having watched the fight three times, I've reflected on that, and that's potentially why you're seeing a slight edit on my scorecards. I also wonder if I went into that Canelo-Golovkin fight when I first watched it with some preconceived ideas. Because, um, as I've said um, in the initial video, I was only able to watch the fight after lunch on Sunday, and by then I'd already received probably over 100 messages. And I don't think that's an exaggeration, telling me what a disgrace the draw was. So I was expecting probably to watch the fight subconsciously, and you know, see Golovkin absolutely destroy Canelo, and then see Canelo get a draw. Um, so that was my initial take. And then when I actually watched the fight, and I actually saw Canelo doing some of the work he was doing, and when I actually saw... 
you know, the spells of effectiveness in the fight. Maybe I marginally gave Canelo a bit too much credit. Maybe I didn't put enough emphasis on the activity that Triple G was doing. Uh, and that is why you're seeing a small edit in my scorecard. And as I say, you know what boxing's like? Small margins can make big differences in this sport. So uh, I, I have acknowledged some of the comments that you guys have made. And having reviewed it, I think some of you were right. I still wholeheartedly disagree with people who had this as an easy fight for Golovkin or who had Golovkin winning by you know a wide margin I view this as a very very close competitive fight but in a sport where small margins are so relevant I will acknowledge that having watched the fight back two further times uh, I have made a um, uh, I have changed the way I view it and I do think Golovkin deserved to edge the fight based largely on his um, activity, his aggression, and his output. I give him credit for that. Uh, now, a few other points I wanted to address. Um, the 118-110 scorecard in Canelo's favour is a terrible, terrible scorecard. Um, I don't think we need to debate that. You know, There's been enough discussion of that already. I, don't, I haven't actually come across anyone saying that was a good scorecard. Um, let's acknowledge that that was a bad scorecard. Let's, let's agree that and let's put that to one side. I think people have got so upset by that scorecard, which is understandable. Um, they're saying, you know, Triple G's won this fight easy and it's been scored 118 to 110. Let's put the 118 to 110 to one side. Um, that is a diabolical scorecard. The fight was competitive. The fight was very, very competitive. Um, Canelo was very effective in the early rounds and in the late rounds of this fight. Um, specifically the first three and the last two, uh, which are the rounds that I scored to Canelo Alvarez. Um, in the rounds that Canelo lost, he still had substantial success counter-punching Triple G. Um, I'm, now, I'm not saying that was enough to win him the fight. I'm agreeing with you guys. Uh, but let's not let the negativity of that scorecard, and it is a negative, let's not let the negativity of that scorecard um, change what actually went on in the ring. You know, people are saying the fact that it's a draw is a robbery. Um, despite the fact I've scored at 7-5, I'm not sure that a draw is, you know, it's not a, a horrible result. You know, a lot of those rounds were very close. A lot of those rounds could have gone either way. There were swing rounds in there for me. Um, so I'm not sort of draw is a disgusting result. The scorecard is disgusting. But if two judges had scored it a draw and one had scored it to Golovkin, I don't think it would be one of the... You know, I don't think based on those 12 rounds, a draw is... As big a travesty as you're going to see in boxing, and that's that's no good thing. But th that's the way I I view it. Um, Golovkin does deserve a lot of credit. Um, people commented on the fact that I wasn't giving Golovkin praise in my first video, and I think that's maybe because when I sat down to put that video together, I sat down um, knowing that the public consensus was that Golovkin won the fight. So maybe I didn't necessarily feel the need to praise Golovkin. Um, I tried to at spells in the video, but maybe I didn't do that in enough detail. Um, Golovkin does deserve a lot of credit for this fight. He fought 12 rounds at a good pace, at a better pace than Canelo. He looked to make the fight. He pushed the pace. Um, he had a higher output. He landed more punches. Um, he showed a chin of steel. And Golovkin does deserve a tremendous amount of credit. Canelo... I still maintain that it was the career best performance. You know, Canelo, defensively, some of the elusiveness, some of the head movement, some of the upper body movement, some of the way he was making Triple G miss. I haven't seen Triple G miss like that before. I believe Triple G's power punch ratio was substantially down from his, his average. And credit for that goes to Canelo. Credit also goes to Canelo for his chin. You know, a lot of people thought he wouldn't live with the power of Triple G up at middleweight, but he did. Credit also goes to Canelo for his timing and counter punching. You know, lots to be liked from Canelo. Um, volume, potentially. Canelo allowed himself to be outworked for spells in the fight, um, which was a negative. 
Canelo was also a bit more versatile than Triple G. He was a lot faster than Triple G. Uh, but all of these things don't necessarily mean Canelo won the fight. And whilst he deserves credit for his versatility, his speed, his timing, his counter-punching, his chin, did he do enough to win seven of the 12 rounds against Triple G? I'm going to say probably not. He wasn't active enough for the course of the fight, whereas I'd say Triple G was. I still think Triple G's on the slide. I'm not going to change my opinion because I've changed my scorecard. Um, I've already mentioned he looks slow. I was disappointed he didn't go to the body more. I think that's one of his real strengths. I didn't like the fact that he neglected that. I also was still disappointed with the way he let Canelo off the hook when he got Canelo up against the ropes. Uh, he didn't jab to the, the chest. He didn't double up his jab enough at that point. He allowed Canelo to wheel out of trouble far too many times off the ropes. Um, so, you know, for me, I do think Triple G's on the slide. Um, at this point, at, you know, is he 35 or 36? He's clearly a very good fighter. He's clearly still got the durability, still got the power, and still got the output to compete at the elite. Um, but I don't think he's quite the precise fighter he used to be. I don't think he's the precise fighter he was in the Lemieux fight or in the Murray fight. Um, I think he's slowed. I think he's missing more. And I think he's taking more. I think he's uh, become even more defensively open. Um, but putting that all to one side, Golovkin deserves a lot of credit for beating Canelo Alvarez and for beating Danny Jacobs. Um, Golovkin, in my opinion, has probably beaten the two top middleweights in the world other than himself, when you include those names. So I give Golovkin a lot of credit. Um, he won this fight for me from pressure, work rate and output. Um, and whilst it was a draw on the judges' scorecards, uh, I'm sure... The majority of the public memory will be that Golovkin was the deserved winner of this fight. Um, I don't think the outrage of the scorecard should allow us to rewrite history. Even though I'm changing my scorecard, I'm still saying this is a, a close competitive fight where Canelo had huge success. Um, but I do believe by changing that round, as I have done, I do believe... Um, Golovkin narrowly deserved the nod. There's my thoughts, guys. I promised I would um, uh, do another video uh, having watched the fight a second time. I promised that at the time of the first video. Um, I'm never someone who is completely closed minded. You know, I'm always someone who um, I do get things wrong, and that's why I wanted to watch the fight again. Uh, I still think there's some good debate to be had in this fight. I still think a lot of people will be outraged I've scored it 7-5. I think people are probably scoring it 118, 110 the other way. Um, I saw a tweet from my uh, sparring partner, Iris Tom, saying he only could give Canelo two rounds. It's, yeah, I think that's just as ludicrous as Adelaide Bird's scorecard, to be frank. But, um, you know, everyone's got opinions in boxing. For me, the fact that we've got different opinions makes it an interesting sport. I never looked to crucify someone for having a different opinion to me. But there we are, guys. Um, Canelo Triple G. A good fight. Some good discussion to be had after it. Um, let's see if it goes to a rematch. Let me know your thoughts. If you've enjoyed this video, please take the time to hit the thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, if you haven't done so before, do subscribe. Many thanks, as always, for tuning in.